So welcome back to another episode of FIFA Bugs. This is the show that takes a look at all your clips, your fails, your funny moments, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty much FIFA's funniest home videos by now. And I can't believe I have material every week for this series. It's unbelievable. But thank you guys for sending your stuff in every week. I try and reply to everyone, but of course there's a lot of people that try and get involved with this. Because it happens to everyone, so everyone has a clip I guess. But yeah, today we're going to have some more laughs. Let's see the current state of FIFA 21. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free, so please do so and help the channel out. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins and you understand all the risks surrounding it, check out Mule Factory and use my code VAPEXFOOT for a 5% discount. So as you guys know, EA recently added in Ellen Road to the game, but of course there was a couple issues with it. On the PS5, they had the guy standing in the middle of the field, and that has since been fixed as well. But there's also another issue, and this one was sent in by the real Ger Lynch. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but he says that uh, pretty much it's an upside-down Tifo for Leeds United. So if you take a look in the stands, you'll see that there's a club badge for Leeds United, but it's upside down. How does that work? How does that even happen? But the fans have got it all wrong here. They're embarrassing the club. They need to fix it up. I can't believe even the Tifo doesn't work properly in this game sometimes. So it looks like there's an issue in career mode when it comes to players wanting new contracts and stuff. Pretty much they're asking for new deals even though they've agreed to move away from the club. And I don't know why this happens, but obviously there's not much a player can do in this scenario. This was sent in by Mark. He pretty much gets an email that says, Ryan Gravenberch has approached us directly and claims that you have made no attempt to resolve any issues regarding his remuneration package. We try to avoid discontent amongst the squad for obvious reasons, and please resolve this dispute now as soon as possible. Either find an appropriate buyer or agree a new contract with the player. When he goes to the squad hub to negotiate with Ryan Gravenberch, the same guy that is asking for a new deal, it says the player isn't open to renew his contract terms because he submitted a request to move away from the club. So this guy's already gone, but he's still asking for new contracts. I don't understand, man. And the board is not happy too. They're trying to tell him, you know, sort it out so no one gets upset. And he can't sort it out because the guy's gone to a new club anyway. So we all know that FIFA 21 Next Gen has big goal moments. This is when you score in the last minute and everyone goes crazy, all that kind of stuff. But this one went wrong. I was playing the game in career mode. I think it's in my Leeds career mode, episode 5, I think. And I noticed that uh, Burnley scores in the last minute. And they win 1-0. It's in the 94th minute, which means big goal moment should kick in. And instead of everyone going crazy and stuff, the cutscene goes completely wrong. And Wood doesn't even know what he's doing. He's coming and going. He's running in circles. He's running through the players, his teammates. And that's not supposed to happen. There should be like some massive big goal moment cutscene where he's ecstatic. And this one is just him basically getting confused. He's like, wait a second. Did I actually score? No, I did. No, I didn't. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. And he's just going around in circles. And everyone's like, what the hell are you doing, mate? Sort it out. And uh, yeah, that's big goal moments going wrong for you. Next up is an image sent in by Caleb's. And he goes, this is something that he discovered while playing FIFA. He sends me a photo of this. And it looks like the player... I don't know, something's gone wrong with him. The model, I guess. Uh, he's got like this orangey face. You can't really see his eyebrows, his mouth. I think you can see his eyes a little bit. And in the back of the jersey as well, there's no last name on the back of the jersey. And uh, yeah, that, that's not good, man. That doesn't look right. So we all know that currently there's an issue in career mode where if you go to the visual sim, the teams are doing more than three substitutions. This one was sent in by Mario. And he goes, uh, the team called Celta made like six substitutions in one game. This is incredible. So you've got in the 45th minute, one substitution, 51st, 73, 76, 78, and 88. So what's that? Six substitutions in one game. That's not even possible. Only in FIFA 21 can you see a team make six substitutions in one match and get away with it. And that's probably why they won 2-0 as well, because they pretty much changed half of the squad. And next up, we have something from Tim. And he goes, player crew mode is broken. Played four games in the Premier League. I had 12 goals and a 10-star rating at the end of each game. But it's saying I have a total rating of four. I tried another season with another save and it does the same thing. And how can my goal conversion rate be 0% if I had 12 goals? Come on, EA, what are they doing? Man, that's that's the question on everyone's lips. What are they doing? And uh, let's take a look here. So apparently, according to the player stats, Campbell, the guy on top, has 12 goals in four games. I think Campbell is his guy. And if we take a look at the upcoming targets for Mr. Campbell, you'll see that um, the goal section is good. He's got the green tick. And then if you take a look above that, it says average match rating, which currently says 4.0. And Tim said that he got a 10 out of 10 in all the games. So currently the ratings there 
are not accurate to what he actually got in the games. And then underneath all that, it says shots to goals conversion percentage. Maintain a goal conversion rate of 10%. Currently, it's at 0%. And Tim says, how can it be 0% when I've scored 12 goals in four matches this season? So yeah, it looks like some of the stats don't actually track in player career mode this year. I think a few people have reported some stats not tracking. And as you can see, how can you actually play the mode when you're meeting the targets, but the game doesn't think you are, and you get this kind of result? So the dodgy photos in the news section have started to appear once again. This one was sent in by Isaac, and this is the away for Team of the Year 2021 forwards shortlist. And usually you have the bars for each player, you know, you get like a little snapshot for each player. There's photos there for the players, but the problem is they're all next to each other. You can see Benzema leading the way, and then all of a sudden you've got... Mane, Hazard, Lewandowski all behind him trying to hold on to each other looking like they just saw a ghost or something instead of just separating away from each other and just appearing where they're supposed to appear. How does this even go wrong man? It's a news tile photo man for crying out loud. I want you guys to take a look at this photo sent in by Lewis. Obviously this is a header gone wrong man. The guy's literally broken his back. It's defied the laws of motion, the laws of physics. I don't know what you call it but it's defied the laws of something because how does this guy become so flexible that his head touches his foot nearly? He's literally headed the ball on top of his head bending that low. It's incredible. It's easier to use your foot from there mate. But anyway here's the video of how it actually happened. Happens, and you'll get a good laugh out of this so pretty much the guy in the white kicks the ball towards him and instead of using his feet what does he do he bends over it's like some sort of superpower has a superpower that he uses and he bends over completely to head the ball all he had to do was literally just tap it with his foot and move on from there instead he's like no nah, I'm gonna do this the hard way hold my beer guys because this is something you've never seen before and look at this man so flexible I don't even know how he does it he's broken his back and instead of using his foot he decides no nah, today I'm gonna use my head so we've got something sent in by Adian, and uh, this one is a good one as well because we all know the player conversation sometimes can go wrong, and this one has certainly gone wrong. So we've got a player here called Wanna who plays for the team. He goes, boss, I feel like I've made some great progress lately. Thinking about what I'm contributing to the team at the moment, I'm sure I should be on a better wage by now. I'd really appreciate it if you could fix it up and sit down with me and my agent and we can take a look at my contract. And obviously he goes, you're a key player in my squad, blah, 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 to keep the morale high. But when he actually goes to check the squad hub, you'll notice that the same guy that says, I'm contributing to the team and all that, I need a better wage. He's actually played no games this season and has done nothing for the team. So he's thought about what he's contributed and he thought, mate, I've done nothing. Might as well get paid more to do nothing. So I'll talk to the boss, see what happens. And uh, yeah, he demands a raise for doing nothing. All right, so we've got two things here sent by Daniel. And he goes, my goalkeeper saved the penalty, but the referee called for a throw in for me. So let's take a look here. So here's the penalty clip in the replay. We've got the guy with the blue and uh, purplish jersey. I think it's Aston Villa, isn't it? Or Burnley, something like that. And he takes the penalty. And the keeper with the save there, nice save. And the ball rolls all the way for a throw in on the side of the field. And then when he actually gets to the throw in stage... You can see that the white shirt jersey takes the throw in instead of uh, the Aston Villa or Burnley player. And um, yeah, that's not meant to happen because the goalkeeper actually saved it and it went out because of the goalkeeper. So yeah, this is why we need VAR in FIFA 21 because of stuff like this, mate. And then for his second clip today, he goes, I was playing player career and I found out that my player and Milik had the same number. Just another FIFA glitch. Let's take a look here. So we've got his player, Pluga, number nine there. Looks fairly good. Nothing wrong there so far. And then he goes to Milik in the instant replay, turns his uh, player around, and as you can see, Milik number nine as well. So two number nines here. We've got an imposter. One of the players is an imposter at the moment. I've never seen two players with the same number on the field, but in FIFA 21, this is definitely possible. And we have one last one here sent by Eric, and it's pretty much the news tile getting it wrong once again. We all know the Krimo journalists are fantastic people. They get it right every time, and they never make mistakes. I mean, <laughs> these guys are terrible. It goes, why the new role for Greenwood? Fans are used to seeing Greenwood play as a right winger, so he will come as a surprise to learn that the manager now wants to try him as a right winger. Come on, guys. The fans are used to seeing him as a right winger, and now the manager wants to try him as a right winger. You can't make this stuff up. Does the boss see this as a permanent switch? It's not even a switch, mate. It's the same position. Or a short-term change of role to help Greenwood develop his all-round game. Mate, go back to journalism school because you've got it all wrong here, mate. All wrong. All right, so that's it for another episode of FIFA Bugs. Thanks to everyone who sent their clips in. If you want to send your stuff in, if you see anything dodgy in your game, send them to Vapex Karma on Instagram. You just do the Instagram DM and you send your stuff there. And uh, I can't promise I'll get to everyone, but I'll use 
whatever I can find when it's time to do the show. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, make sure you subscribe, it always helps. And if you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle, it'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.